I'm about to draw Princess Zelda in my style. So I'm not using any picture references, I'm just drawing her how I think she should look. And my cat has something to say. What do you want to say to me? And then he's silent when I let him speak. Okay, well, let's begin. I got my pencils that I usually use for um, Zelda drawings and sketchbook drawings. Or both. And I got my 100 colored pencil box. And my 152 crayons. And so we begin with just an outline. And I draw them very much. And I draw all of these things. If you've seen my how to draw, my how to draw, how I draw them, the Think My Style video, you'll know how this is going to go. So, I'm going to start with a chin. Princess Zelda's chin. And then I'm going to give her a head. Here we go. Princess Zelda's head. And then she gets in there. And some shoulders. And arms. Now this is the I'm going to give her a round of collar. With some frills, I think she should get some frills. We're done. I'm going to continue working on her head. I'm going to give her the heart shaped hair. So, start with the cheek. There's a round to the edge. And by the way, guys, this is not how to draw. This is just me demonstrating how I would draw her. So now it looks like her hair is shaped like a heart. Get a little more detail. A little bit of that. Make the hair look a little more less flat. Let me give her some ears. Continue. The inside of those ears. I'm gonna give Zelda long hair. Long wavy hair.
So now our hair has texture. Like that. And I want to give her a little tiara. Positioning, ugh, my stupid. Positioning the triangle at the tip of her hair there. And then I'm gonna turn it into a triforce by inserting a smaller triangle on the inside. tiaras on all my princesses. I just make a bunch of circles on either side of the charm. That way it's not just a floating charm on the forehead for some reason. Well, I think she needs a face now. I'm gonna give her a nose. And some eyes. So my circle of eyelids to start with. And then another semi circle, connect it to the oval. I'm making her eyes. And then for her irises, I just put more semi circles inside. Got big eyes for some reason. <laughs> and then there's smaller ovals on the inside for the pupils. Inside those pupils. And then she gets some eyelashes. I just put some little lines coming from her upper eyelid on both sides. And there we go. She's got long eyelashes. See? Let you look at that a little bit. See, she's starting to look like Princess Zelda. Yay! You just can't tell which Zelda because I'm not going off a specific game. She needs some eyebrows. So, some more semicircles. I use a lot of semicircles in my drawings. So, this is her with eyebrows and eyes and stuff. She needs lips. Princess Zelda lips. Eee, her face is finished. I think she looks good. What do you guys think? It seems like Sam's trying to move the tripod. He doesn't like that I'm talking to the camera instead of talking to him. Princess Zelda sleeves. 
do some squiggles. And now she has sleeves. Hi, Sam. These are arms. Coming from the sleeves. Sam! Set, so I'm just going to post correction this correction post a bit. Zelda's body. And then we just keep extending her arms to a certain point. And then I stop there. And I can extend her body a little bit now. And then she gets hands. And the lines from the hands. And then I'm going to give her some fingers. And then I'll fingers. So now she got hands and fingers and stuff. I'm gonna give her some fingernails. And finish off her dress. Dress gets real long. The bottom like a bell. Give her some more jewelry. Get some earrings. And some bracelets. Tricorps bracelets. Yay. And then she gets a Triforce on her hand. Get Triforce. is more textured and I 
think I can start coloring her in now. So, I will start by outlining her with some colored pencils. I'm going to give her blonde hair. You know there's also a lot of stuff with that brown hair. And he's like... There's one ginger, at least. But I'm going to give this one blonde hair. So I'm going to... I'll give her golden hair. The outline with golden. Gonna need a lot of gold for Zelda. Outline here. bigger areas. Put it triforce. Sky blue with her eyes. There's just moons in that. I'll come back to it after. And the, the dress is going to also be sky blue. I 
Alright. Oh, and also these little arms here. Let's get an outline. it white. You could have a white rock, I don't know. But I'm doing, I'm going to do this cornflower one for this picture. And I'll just color her, her fingernails are going to be cornflower too. I'm going to color in her fingernails. Female polish on. So see the rough is colored in a little bit and the fingernails are completely colored in. Skin's gotten out on now. It's very light, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it very well. Yeah. Also, it appears Sam has given up bothering me. He's like, that Lee's just gonna keep talking to herself. There's nothing I can do about it. She's insane. And so he went away. Okay. So, now it's time to complete the coloration. Don't just start with apricot for the skin, which is what I just finished with that line. And so, I'm beginning with coloring her ear. It's a little dirty because my crayons, for some reason, like to smudge. So Princess Zilla is a bit dirty now. She's gonna need a bath. Bet she's been playing around in the garden all day. Not a care in the world. Don't you feel like cutting loose? Yeah, 
underneath the charm. Go for eyebrows. And then I've got to color underneath her eyebrows and above her eyes. Hey, Oliver, don't stick your head in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oliver decided it was a good idea to stick his head inside the dishwasher when it's on heat cycle. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> it's a cat, by the way, guys. It's not a kid. And also, Princess Zelda apparently flipped over. She was surprised by this, too. And so I'm coloring into her neck now. I have hardly used this one. Cornflower. It's a good one, but I don't use it that often. There's so many shades of blue. to sky blue.
glue for such a long dress. Okay, I'm about halfway done with the dress so far. This is what it's looking like so far. And I will continue working on the dress until the dress is finished. Looks most like the a link to the pastel, I guess. Seeing as she's wearing the blue dress, there's a different kind of blue dress. And so that's what she looks like with her dress fully colored. That took quite a while. And so now I'm going to move on to the pink for the lips. Lipstick. If I can find the pink, it's over here. Nice pink. Okay, that was quick. A lot quicker than doing the dress. The dress took a lot to work. But here's her with her pink lipstick, and we're on to the final portion, which is the hair, which is also going to take a while, but it will look good if I can get my crayon out. There we go. Remember this. Use this crayon a lot. Her hair. in here, so I use this a lot. Working on the top of her head, hair up there. Like that. Alright, so this is the completed product, Princess Zelda's hair.
What do you guys think? Does this look good? Okay. So that's the end of the video. And I know you guys aren't going to answer the questions, but if you have a character you want to see, would you let me know in the comments? Because then I'll know what to draw next time. Otherwise, I'm just going to draw Ganondorf. And my version of Ganondorf is kind of weird. So, if you don't want to see a weird Ganondorf, tell me what other character you want to see. And I'll get started on... Well, not started on I'll get that done when this one becomes more popular. And so, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Bye. Thank you.